Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Shaman King episode number 42 reaction. Okay, um, so you guys must, some of you must be like, you know, thinking why I'm doing episode 42 today because episode 43 has come out um, uh, and why I missed the previous week. The reason is because the day I usually do the reactions, the subtitles for 42, episode 42 was still not out. It was like, you know, delayed one day, I think. So that's why after that, I wasn't able to find enough time to actually react to it. So here I am, like, you know, I'm kind of delayed one week. That means I'm going to continue like this, uh, you know, up until the end. Like today, I'm going to do episode 42. Tomorrow, uh, not tomorrow, sorry. Next week, I'll be doing episode 43, while episode 44 will already be out. I'll continue like this, unless and until the final episode, the, fin the day when episode... 52 i think that's that's the final episode 52 comes out i'll be doing episode 51 and 52 in one single video so the final episode will be a two uh, you know episode reaction i'll do it like that so yeah that's what i'm going to do because you know like i got delayed by one week because like you know uh, as i said like you know, the subtitles were not out and if i do it like this it'll also be like you know a little bit helpful for me as well because you know like sometimes the subtitles get delayed some sometimes something else happens this and that so you know like one week time i'll like you know they'll have and subtitles will obviously be out by that time so i can easily react to it so yeah i'm going to do it like that this is just something that i wanted you guys to know so I, okay so the previous episode which was episode 41 um we quite a few things happens number one uh, John and like you know and uh, Marco like you know Liza they were like coming back and Manta as well uh, in a car uh, one of the uh, I forgot his name but one of uh, the like the guy with the long nose I forgot his name anyways he attacks you know and here we can see how John oh Marco gets like you know her his chest gets pierced I don't know what's going to happen to him um, uh, John, we see that John is unable to fight here because you know, like she, the realization has hit her that, um, like you know, you, like you know, this is like plain wrong. Like you know, this whole cycle of revenge, this is wrong, and she cannot fight now. And as you know, like you know, the shaman, like you know, shaman spirit, uh, the spirit, it is like linked to your own determination. Since John did not have that at that moment, I guess she wasn't able to activate her power and like i don't know what's going to happen there lysak is trying his best to actually like you know see that everyone's okay but yeah they kind of cut off at that point and then there was this like another part where we see um how being attacked by those two guys from uh, marco's team i don't again i don't remember their names but we like you know get to know how like you know like they obviously they did not want Marco be like you know changed like that Marco completely changed he's not going to go for uh, how now so they kind of came out and they decided to fight how uh, and destroy him but and one of the people they actually see how shedding a tear which was obviously like a point of weakness how did not like that and we also get a little bit of flashback of how backstory I think I think that was like her mom or something and uh, in her previous in his previous life so that thing but anyways, uh, how did not like that, and uh, yeah, how is good, like, you know, like, they, they had, like, a quite a good plan, like, you know, they kind of used a satellite to, like, nuke that place or whatever, but still, you know, how caught them, and yeah, they're not, it's not going to go easy from here onwards, so, and that was that whole thing, then there's this thing with Yo, where Yo, Faust, and um, Ryu, they were, like, you know, kind of, uh, like the, practicing their new oversoul sadi comes in and she's like you need to die here you know because uh, i want you like you know like to unlock the, the like you know go to hell and there you'll be able to unlock your power and become the warrior and sadi kills him i think and now yo is in in walking in the hell the place where chocolate went before and um <clears throat> here he meets asakura yoken who was uh, oh, and, and that demon as well, the big demon. Asakura Yoken, who was like the partner of Matamune when he defeated Hao. And now they're going to fight. Like, there's this whole thing going on where Ma uh, Yoken was saying something like, Oh, I need to defeat the people here, uh, otherwise, I won't be able to go out. So I'm guessing, like, you know, he died 
like you know in his life and he came here and he's been stuck here i guess or something like I'm, I'm sure we'll get to know in this episode so let's get started this is episode number 42 of shaman king so i'll be putting the subtitles on time right here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started okay here's the countdown three two one go oh and yo unlocked his new yeah there you go oversoul Byakko, i think Oh, one thing I realized, Biako doesn't mean golden eagle, it, it means golden, uh, not golden sign, white tiger, isn't it? Biako, like, they gave a tr translation that it means white eagle or something, but it means white tiger, I think. Still feels bad. Oh. Oh wait, so that's what's actually bothering him. Oh. Armored Defense Avatar. Hmm. Okay, so yeah, and the thing out there was saying, like, Byako, I think, as far as I know, like I, I, I didn't pay attention in the previous episode. Um, Byako means white tiger, doesn't it? So that was that like a translation error in the previous episode, or am I wrong? They, they like gave the translation like white eagle or white something. It was definitely not a tiger. So most probably that was a translation error. Correct me if I'm wrong. Oh, and you can hear. So he's being bothered that he killed. Um, how? Okay, like obviously as like he was their ancestor. So that's why he's here. Alright. One thing I have to say, like um this reboot, I don't know about I've not heard the openings of the previous, like you know, uh the anime the old anime of shaman king but the new one the, the the one which we were watching now all the openings and the endings are just amazing like all of them like there's not one opening or ending that i would say like oh it's not good like each and every one of them are good okay shikigami okay Okay. Oh boy, another. Sh Whoa, is that a Tengu? Yeah. There you go, Tengu Goblin. To his death. Oh. Wait, what the? It's a train. What? Why? Wait. What? Didn't, they didn't even meet like I thought they would at, at least meet you know Swan yeah, oh Huh Okay Wow. Two part medium. Okay. Hmm. 
Hmm. Oh, ok. Oh no. Oh. Oh boy, ok. Mata Moon is power. Yeah. A stead weasel. Whirlwind slash. Wait, this defeated how? Oh. Whoa, wait. <laughs> oh. Wow, okay. That's in power of purification. Huh. Use the five height spirits. Oh, okay. But chocolate already got one, I think. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh. Wait, but that's when he'll be asleep. But not now. Like, how? Okay, wait. Okay, who is... Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> okay, is he an ally or a... Okay, neutral. Okay. Works out pretty well. You're neutral, so... <laughs> you definitely are not acting neutral now. No longer is it. Oh boy. Well, yeah. I don't believe that. I don't believe that. I'm, I'm pretty sure Marco is fine. Oh my god, these guys are here again. Um... Wait, what the? <laughs> that was random. <laughs> yeah. Damn, his hair. It'd be funny if this suddenly, like, you know, turn up now. Uh oh. Yep. Okay, calm down. Yeah. 
Oh god. I'm pretty sure that did not kill her. I'm pretty sure of that. Wait, what? Oh my god. Overcome with remorse. <laughs> My son was born before. Okay. <laughs> Wait, what? She, he's a kid. What? What are you saying? <laughs> what? Ah. <laughs> uh. Yep. Oh yeah. Completely or or he is gonna if we change him. Yeah, if we change him. If we talk with him and I don't know. It, yeah, as you said, it won't be easy. Hmm. Meaning. Oh. Huh. Star shaped tree, okay. Oh god. I was thinking like why are they showing us this? Who the hell is this? What? Wait. Wait, really? Just like that? He... What is happening in this episode? Like, everyone's just dying left and right? Oh my god, what? <laughs> What the? What? What is hap? What the hell? Oh my God. Oh yeah, it, it gets instantly regenerated. I feel like, let me know, is, is it rushing? I feel like it's kind of rushing. Like so many things happen in such a, oh my God.
Yeah, chocolate of notes. Um. Oh, these people. Boss do. Okay, they, yeah, they do need to die, you know, to... Oh my god, wait, so Jürgen is gone, I guess? Like, what even? Oh my god. Okay, White Swan, not, okay, White Tiger, like, but I, as far as I knew, Byakko also means White Tiger, doesn't it? Oh, here he is. Oh my god, this is his place. Oh my god. This is his place, where his mom and dad... Oh no. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, don't lose your. It can, it can, it can instantly get regenerated if he doesn't lose his. Oh wait, so he's still not a warrior. He did go to hell, but okay. All right, okay, makes sense. Okay, okay. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh. Okay. I'm I'm pretty sure they'll figure it out. Oh, what? Oh. Thousand years. Oh, okay, okay. Heart was pulled to the core. Oof. Hmm. Oh, he, he got his form back or whatever. <laughs> Hmm. Oh, okay, wow. So even even more deeper than this. Oh. The last one. Who? Raccoon dog developed. Okay, they're fine. Wait, so Marco Chan. What? Um uh. Great.
greater than my brothers. Whoa. Whoa! Who the? Wait. Oh, wait. There you go. All right. Okay. He's he's okay. Fine. Okay. John is fine as well. I'm guessing. What is that thing? Oh. Oh, just like that. Wow. What the? So basically, he caught him off guard. That's why they got. Oh my god. Wow. Damn, he was trash talking too much. Now it's just. Okay, I don't think Jen will allow him to kill him. Oh, oh, okay, makes sense. Okay, I was thinking, how is he so strong? Like, is this guy so weak? No. Okay. I'm pretty sure that he's fine. Like, I, that wouldn't kill her. What? I don't believe that. <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> it's like... Yeah, you also die. Oh my god! I'm homeless. Uh oh. Ah, well. Ah. Resurrection is possible. Oh. Okay, false is fine. What? Wait, false was fine, wasn't he? No, wait. Oh, yeah, he... Okay, that's the end. Okay, one thing, let me know. Are they trying to rush the story now? Like, I feel like there's like a lot of potions that acts like they kind of, you know, like just, just going so fast. Like the like they they're not even showing the fightings properly. It it seems as if like you know they're going to fight and then they're like cutting it off to something else completely. And I don't know if they're going to show the fighting later on, but like. I, I I don't know like it like it wouldn't actually surprise me if they're rushing it now because I like you know I, 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 I was thinking like how can they complete this story within these 10 episodes like it's I, I think it's impossible because I feel like there's a lot of things still left to tell you know in this story I don't know why but I feel like it might take like 15 to 18 episodes for the story to properly end but it's like you know like there's like 52 episodes this anime is supposed to have and um, we're already at the 42nd episode 
so it wouldn't surprise me if they're actually rushing it if they're not then yeah it, it might be just my mistake um maybe it's just me but yeah i feel like there's a few portions that kind of going a little bit fast i feel like anyways okay so this episode here first of all mm, okay so oh my god like i don't know what to like you know um say like there's like a few deaths happened here i'm not even sure whether uh they're coming back or not like for example the whole thing with yokin i don't know like it, it seems like his soul is really gone um but again it wouldn't surprise me if he somehow finds his way back uh but you know what i feel like it, it, this is the end for yokin let's wait you know uh, but i'm still unable to accept sati's sudden like you know like death like that i don't know i feel like i feel like there must be something like the way they kind of showed that suddenly and they just cut off you know from that portion and they didn't even go back to that part you know, they just cut it off over there like and they showed like sati being pierced like you know by the uh, claws and that's just it and then like they suddenly go to some other scene this this is this kind of like you know kind of makes me feel as if we might see something different happening in the future maybe maybe sati if she's dead she might come back later on or um maybe she's not dead maybe something else happened or you know like all that stuff so i'm i'm still not convinced about sati's death like she was supposed to be this like you know like the, like you know the strongest one of the strongest characters and like i can understand that she obviously she did not want people to fight unnecessarily that's why she went there and maybe that actually cost her life um i i can understand that that might happen but i don't know i i i, I refuse to accept that a character like her would die that easily so yeah again i'll i'll have to wait um i'm pretty sure we're going to get to know what's going to happen after this and another thing that in by the end of it how said is that um Faust might be able to use so chose uh, senji rakyatsu and resurrect ev like you know everyone back so if sati really is dead may like i'm pretty sure like you know like um uh, Faust will be alive by the end of it if if Faust dies or if Faust is unable to cast the resurrection um it's over for jan and um lyser and i don't think that's going to happen in the story i'm not sure about jan but i'm pretty sure lyser won't die so that that kind of gives me this like you know like what do you call it? this feeling that yeah um Faust will be somehow be alive by the end of it and he will cast a resurrection spell and if he casts the resurrection on to uh Lyserk, he can even do that to sati if sati is really dead so sati might come back like that's what i'm thinking this is how i'm thinking this whole thing but yeah we'll have to wait anyways enough making guesses <laughs> this episode here in the beginning we see yo and uh, yoken fighting and he uh brings out a tengu which i think which this this was like the power that defeated Hao, you know which he used to defeat Hao 500 years ago and um yeah they were like fighting and everything and now here's what happens Mune boards a train and he said Mune says like okay since yo is here i'm pretty sure like everything will be fine and um I'm pretty sure Yoken will be able to be well uh, Yoken will be saved after this. And uh he Oh you know what? Okay, I understood. It suddenly struck me. Um we see Yoken's soul being like kind of crushed over here. And in the end, Abba says that there is someone I need to save. I think he was talking about Yoken. I think it kind of suddenly struck me i was like i was thinking like is, is it like you know like are they really going to kill off like not kill but because yokin is already dead like destroy his soul like that in this show is they are they really going to do that you know i feel because i feel like that's like kind of ah i don't know it doesn't sit well with me like 
like it's okay like you know like if, if someone dies like obviously a lot of people die in like you know shows and everything but here it's not only death they're crushing his soul out that means it's it's over for him it's completely over and like you know like he, his existence is gone from this universe that means so are they i was thinking like are they really going to do that to one of the characters one of the good characters in this show so you know like it, it really did not sell, sit well with me like that like so that's why i was thinking like maybe they're able to bring him back somehow and then it suddenly struck me like Abba, uh, like you know was saying in the end that there's someone i need to save and it probably he, and i think he's probably talking about yoken uh, this is just a guess um, like I'll, I'll have to wait for the next episode um, but okay anyways um so yeah um matamuna says that okay i'll i'll go you know like i'm 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 pretty sure you will be able to handle this part you've grown strong your son and um, he just leaves on the train like like it's interesting like you know like the train we already all we've always seen the train in the ending song so suddenly the end, train coming here it's kind of interesting now i'm i don't know if the train was like a symbolism of something uh or some 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 kind of spiritual thing or what not I, i'm not sure about that i'm pretty sure uh there might be some other significance of the train because you know like this is like a hell kind of a thing so suddenly a train coming in maybe that's like something symbolic or something i don't know but yeah anyways um Okay, like in the beginning of the episode, I was talking about something. I was saying like, oh, like, you know, yours oversold, Byako, it's called White. I was mentioning it as White Eagle. <laughs> that was completely wrong, obviously. It's White Swan. So I was saying that, oh, like I, as far as I know, Byako is like, like, you know, in most of the animals that I've seen, um, Byako always refers to a white tiger that's why i was saying are they like, like was that like a translation error or something okay you know what let me double check Byako. Byako, white tiger there you go sometimes called the white tiger of the west it represents west in the terms of direction and the autumn season uh, there you go so like i was like you know like i i was i was pretty sure that Byako means white tiger and that's why i was saying like oh is this like a Translation error or something is happening, but here in in uh, like you know in this episode we see you talking about the swan, white swan, and how you know like he liked the the little swan things that he used to ride with his mom and dad, all that stuff, uh, which like you know which is like confirms it like yeah that was not a translation error that definitely like you know was white swan. So so let me know like you know like Biako means white tiger. So does Biako also mean white swan? Like the translation is that. Like, you know, like I, what, how it goes, like, I'm not sure. But yeah, at least like, you know, in here, like Byako means like white swan, I guess. So. Okay. Um, so, and then we see like the, the huge fight, you know, the using like Yo can use as the Tengu. And while uh, Yo talks about his oversoul, how it is like, you know, easy to change uh, according to the fight. Like it's like like the sword and everything, and uses like a purification. What what was that called? Purification. Uh, the power of purification. Yeah, and that's when you can realize that oh maybe he really is an Asakura, and that's when you says you know what enough fighting. Let us talk a little bit. <laughs> okay, then we shift to the other scene where Sati is explaining everything to Ryu. <clears throat> and then this one of the patch officials comes in the one who is in um you know who is in, not in control but who is looking over the gandharas that guy comes in and he like and he says like ah i'm neutral and everything and he talks about how like you know quite a few peoples are dead and talks about how you know the x2 are dead that's why like, you know some other team will replace them this and that all that stuff he like you know just talked about them and it's left like that and in comes um okay what was their name team oh, i forgot their name team uh, 
the, the team that came. Just a sec. Team Moon, Sukigumi, yeah. Okay. Um Yeah, they come in suddenly. Alright, so here Oh my god. This guy, I, I I don't remember his name, the the guy with the you know the the green thing draped around him. He like you know starts bad mouthing like and like provoking, trying to provoke you. And oh my god, Sati comes in and he she's like, I've told you not to kill anyone unnecessarily, you know, or be violent against anyone. And like I thought that you know, like when she was saying this, I was thinking like at that moment, like even though she's saying this, obviously um Team Moon wouldn't listen to that. So he might try to harm Sati. And as soon as I was thinking it, he just stabbed Sati. Now here like, you know, the way they suddenly cut this scene off and didn't even go back to it, this, like, pretty much, I think it proves that maybe Sati will come back. Like, you know, like, I, like, as I said, like, it, it, it's really weird if Sati dies in this, like, you know, in, like this. Like, it, it will be kind of weird. Like, I don't know. But, yeah, hopefully she, she, hopefully she comes back. Uh, but you know what? It it wouldn't surprise me if if she actually died here. Like it, it, I don't know. Like this whole thing of like you know her being um, peaceful, like you know being um, not unnecessarily harming others and everything. Like, you know this whole thing and seeing how she got stabbed by this one person who is just hateful and violent. Like, it, it seems like they might do this thing, you know, like, kill her off here just because, you know, like, it, it would show that, oh, like, look at her, like, she was such a, you know, like, such a pure, such a great person. But still, she, like, you know, even, even while preaching, preaching peace, she got killed. Like, you know, by violence or something, I don't know, like, I feel like, like, you know, that, that, that has, like, a chance of happening. You know this whole thing like like it, it like brings a contrast doesn't it like you know like she was talking about peace and not harming the enemy while the enemy just like you know stabbed her like this whole thing like to prove that whole thing that prove that point like that that whole situation i i feel like there is a chance that they might actually kill her off here i will not be happy if that happens but yeah let's just wait for it as i said um a few things like now you know what i'm pretty convinced now that yoken might come back after this but i'm not so sure about sati now uh but as, as i said like you no know, faust is still alive i'm pretty sure he will be alive by the end of it so this yeah this brings up sati's chances of revival a little bit more so now here's the thing since sati got stabbed here you know all his or her teammates and everyone um i'm pretty sure they are going to try to like you know bring her out of that place and try to like, you know protect her even though she got stabbed you know like even though they were a little bit late but i'm pretty sure they're going to do that and um so sati's body will be preserved so there is a chance of her coming back after this that's what i'm thinking but yeah let's see like if, if she really is dead over here then and Faust is just over there, you know, like he, he can just start treatment just over there because he's present there. So anyways, like, let's just stop guessing. I'm, I'm pretty sure we're going to get our answer in one or two episodes. Um, okay, so, and then we see Yo and Yoken just like, you know, sitting down and talking and how Yoken is talking about, you know, like what he did in the, during his time and how like you know the time has changed how he like you know he, he he got to know everything from yo that 500 years has gone like you know has, has passed uh how has been resurrected not resurrected but um has been reincarnated and he talks about what the um oh then there's this whole thing with you know he's like oh do you have any children <laughs> like what like look at him 
like he's like a like you know 13 or 14 year old kid so anyways um <clears throat> but you know what i guess like you know during their time you know during the older time i guess this was the time when everyone got married and you know had kids so yeah it it it, it is pretty normal during their time i guess so that's why probably he asked him the question <laughs> and <laughs> and he's, i'm the one like whisper something in his ears and he's like ah oh, I think he she probably told him about Anna or something. I don't know. But yeah. Okay, now he talks about uh, the Asakura um, symbol. You know, how it is like a star. It is something that was made by Hao as a Omiodo star. But then like you need to got changed as like a tree which holds a star. And oh boy, like now this scene again, like I don't know why like this episode whenever i got a bad feeling that happened you see that scene when he was just standing there you know like and saying like oh like it's nice to see like you know like everything is okay over there i'm happy i'm like you know like uh, okay here it is similarly it might be possible for you to change um and he's you know he's just like standing there like oh my god like this this type of a like scene whenever there's like a cliff Someone's just standing there, you know, reminiscing about good things, talking about good things about someone. The uh, atmosphere is peaceful, it's happy, it feels like, oh, everything's going to be fine. He looks, like, you know, in a, in a side way, in this direction, towards you, and smiles, a little head tilt, smiling, in front of a cliff. That's a big no-no, because whenever that type of situation happens, in any anime, that person's going to get killed some way or the other. Either like an arrow will shoot at his head, someone will stab him, someone will shoot him, or here as we see, he just got squashed by the, um, the, the demon. Like, as soon as I saw that scene, I was like, wait a minute, wait, this, this doesn't seem right. Like, something might happen here, I feel like, and as soon as I was thinking it, bam, that's what happened. Now, at that moment, I, I was thinking like, oh, I'm pretty sure he'll be able to come back sooner or later. But as, as he said, as the demon said, that oh, I squashed his soul out and his soul is just gone. He won't be able to come back. I was like, wait a minute. Like, what? And yeah, like, I like, so basically this episode, I was actually ready for the deaths, but I was not ready for them actually dying. Like the, the scenes, like the Sati scene, this scene, and that's why I was not actually surprised. Like, you know, those two scenes, made me realize that yes yeah, something bad is going to happen to them i knew that that was going to happen as, and as soon as something bad happened to them you know i was like yeah this was going to happen but the thing that actually surprised me was when they said that oh they might actually die like i thought like oh they might die but they will not die there was some way some way or the other they're going to come back i thought that's going to happen but as soon as like you know like on both the scenes they're saying like oh they might actually die i'm I, I was like, whoa, I was not expecting that. So that's what's happening. Like, I was ready for something happening to Asakura Yoken, but I was not ready for him actually, his soul actually dying. So I still think they are not dead, you know, both Sati and like, even if they are dead, they might come back. I still think of it like that. Both uh, Yoken and Sati, uh, especially, uh, I think, uh, I think uh, obviously Sati has a bigger chance of coming back because Faust is still there. But Yoken, I feel like Abba would do something. We'll see. But yeah, the demons come out, and Yo, like you know, shows his like you know newfound power. Just starts fighting with them, and obviously this I'm guessing this will serve as the training, you know, for him to get more stronger and becoming the <clears throat> warrior. Okay, and then we see. Ren and their team, like, uh, like you know, Ren, Chocolove, and Horohoro. They were in the bath, the Gandharas, like you know, the Vidyaraja, yeah, Vidyaraja, Vidyaraja comes in and they're like, We're going to help you out this time, but we have to kill you first. And I don't know how they killed them, like that, that scene was extremely weird. Like, what even happened there? They were just talking, and then suddenly they're like fallen into the tub dead, like. That that scene, I, I don't know what happened there, but anyways, so okay, now they are like in their version of hell, and Lyserk is also there because obviously Lyserk got like you know 
caught up in the blast and he is almost dying mm. okay now here we see abba's actual form you know when like he was a human and everything and like here's the part you know okay again like abba kind of like you know takes a like what do you call it like a fighting stance and he's like okay horror we'll fight you know or something like that he says like you have to die i'm going to throw you into hell and then this is weird cut we see horror uh, not horror sorry chocolate chocolate falling down like these things i'm saying like i feel like they they tried to rush this thing didn't they like these weird cuts that are coming like you know in this episode like not only one time like multiple times like they're showing something then there's like a weird cut and like everything's just over like for example that scene as well that bathroom scene like they were showing like you know the vidaraja coming in talking there's like a cut and they're just floating in the in the bathtub just dead like i don't know like i don't know if that this was similarly done in the manga or what not if it is done in a similar way in the manga then that's fine but i i feel like they're like rushing stuff or something maybe who knows i might be wrong but okay um horror horror uh, not horror horror sorry chocolate chocolate falls down now here's where abba says something which actually like you know caught my attention and i i think i was able to connect the dots here he says that i have to go help the last one now okay he says the last one maybe it's not yoken i don't know he says the last one like he last of the warriors i guess wait so who is he talking about like chocolate is here um he says that um matamune will have to take care of two of them take care of the other two matamune i'm guessing um he is talking about obviously not talking about yo because matamune just left yo so who are these two that he's talking about that matamune has to take care of um ren who can it be ren okay not yo not chocolat so there's three of them left ren um lyserk and uh, horohoro out of these three i'm guessing matamune needs uh, he was talking about matamune and like you need to take care of the other two so out of these three i think two of them matamune needs to take care of is that what's happening while abba says that i need to take care of the last one who is the last one like out of the five of them is it lizer like okay wait i i think like i i thought at that moment like maybe he was talking about um yoken but maybe not he's saying like i need to take care of the last one i'm pretty sure he's meant referring to the warriors so it will be out of the five of them so who is it oh maybe lizer yeah it, it might be it might be lizer I don't know but anyways um again like you know like my I was thinking like maybe he was talking about Yoken but now that I'm watching this scene again it might not be Yoken maybe he was talking about something else ah I don't know Oof. so I'm not so sure about Yoken coming back we'll see okay then the next scene we see like you know that that guy I forgot his name him like you know like everyone's just like sprawled on the ground uh Marco, John and Lysa they seem almost dying. Lysa is obviously in, in that hell in his hell like you know version of hell. While John and they are unconscious I'm guessing. Or dead. Whatever. But Marco's like you know like okay now there, there's like this whole thing with Tamao. Marco comes up and he just <clears throat> destroys the oversoul that that guy created using his angel. Now at this moment i thought wait a minute so it seemed as if he was extremely strong but how is marco able to defeat him that easily and then like you know as tamao said i realized that oh marco almost died so that means that's why his over like, you know his furoku increased by a lot that's why he was so strong but um yeah okay and then how comes in and how just comes in and says that oh everyone's dead like you know no need for you to you know no struggle anymore and uh, <laughs> yeah like i i definitely i'm, I'm like I'm, i definitely don't believe that refuse to believe that <laughs> i'm pretty sure sati will come back but i'm not so sure about 
you can but sati will come back and uh, yeah i think so anyways um so yeah he says all of these things and um Lakis is also there and Marco is like, is there any way that they can be resurrected? And I think Lakis says something like, oh, like maybe there is Faust over there who has this Alter Senji Yakyatsu. So he might be able to resurrect them back. And but then he's like, you know, kind of. Okay, now this thing, um, I did not properly, like, you know, pay attention to this while I was reacting. How says a different thing, actually. He says, okay, here it is. Apparently, someone named Faust has mastered it. Um, but this Faust is in the same place that Sati is. So he's saying that this Faust is in the same place Sati is. Obviously, that's true, but that's not what I'm trying to say. He then says, unfortunately, they have probably met their ruin by now. So basically, um, How says that, oh, uh, Team Moon will be able to take care of them easily. Which kind of concerns me because if How is actually putting that much faith in them, maybe they have gotten very strong. Uh, because, you know, the Gandharas are there and still he's saying this, like, oh, they may, may, may have, they may have probably met their ruin. But still, this shows that not everything has concluded. Concluded. The only thing that we have seen here is Sati being pierced. Post was there. Everyone was fine. Yo is over there. So since Yo is over there, I'm pretty sure they will somehow be able to defend that place. And Post will be fine because he, we, like you know, we need to bring uh, Yo and everyone else back. So that's why I think, like, yeah, this this whole thing will probably be okay. Uh, I don't think Team Moon will be able to defeat them. Like all the Gandharas are there, like what can go wrong, you know? Like they are pretty strong. And uh, yeah, so we might get Sati back eventually. Yeah, it says like unfortunately they might have met their end by now. So he takes a gamble, you know, Marco. He's like, where is it? Then we still have hope. You know, he takes a gamble he brings out a car within it there is um what's his name um lyserk and uh john like wait why didn't he put tamao inside that as well tamao's out tamao is outside is there like a weight limit or something no obviously not like they were just driving the car a few minutes ago but anyways <laughs> Um, yeah, they put them in and now like, you know, they're going to transport them to um, uh, Faust. So yeah, so quite a few things happened as I said. A lot of people seems dead, but I'm not sure if they're actually dead. Um, so yeah, let's see what happens. Anyways, that was it. That was my guess. And like by the time I'm actually like you know recording this episode 40 has already pro probably already been out. But as I said, like you know, I got delayed by one week. I'm gonna keep it that way. You no, know, one week it will be one week lagging. Like episode 53 came out, uh, 43 came out today, but I'm reacting to 42 today. So I'll continue doing that unless and until the final episode gets released, and I'll do a two-episode reaction, the final two episodes. So I'm gonna do it in that way. But yeah, anyways, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. This is my reaction to Shaman King uh, episode number 42. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to press the like button. Subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed. Comment down below anything you want to say, anything you want to let me know. And I'll check them out. So yeah, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys next week with the next episode of Shaman King. Until then, goodbye and have a nice day.